They're very good. Thank you. I've been working on it. Huh? I'm really inconsistent. Huh? I'm inconsistent. Like some days, like I've been working on it a lot. So. Now I'll choose the card. Oh, the card of the card. <laughs> Theirs. I think that these are here. Those are yours, Bob. Okay. Okay, you ready?
Play. Yeah, next. Hold on, hold on, Bob. Let's 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 let Frank in. He hasn't played today. Huh? He hasn't played today. Oh, I didn't see it. I'll play. I'll play Roger. Right. Well played. Good game.
Hey guys, Brian here. What an epic game by Jay and Bob here. And Jay's so clutch, one second left on the clock, and he gets the mate. And for those who wonder why, you know, why why did Bob do this when he knew it was gonna get dumped up? It's because you know that this is gonna come and you're gonna lose a bishop anyway. So in case any of you are wondering, and believe it or not, this was crazy. Once Bob's king was marching up here, right? It looked like he was toast, but there was a way out, as you'll soon see. But very, very hard to do under time pressure. They were both under severe time pressure. And man, any pawn mate with one second left, so satisfying. Beautifully done, Jay, man. Jay's been a hell of a lot more consistent lately. So, wow, that is a nice feather in Jay's cap. Beautifully done, Jay. And gotta love Bob, man. Such a gentleman of the sport. Always congratulating his opponent. Always wants to play more. That's what I love about Bob. He's just, he loves the game so much, man. And it really shows. So, beautifully done there, Bob, as well. And... Let us figure out how, where was Bob's escape hatch in that crazy finish there. And it was a beautiful combo by Jay. I just want to say to kind of set it up. Remember when he sacked the queen for the, uh, for the, uh, for the two rooks here. So, um, let's go here in this position and, well, actually, no, a couple of months later. So it goes from negative 20.5 to negative 0.4. So let's go move back. What would be another move for Black. How can Black kind of deny White the escape here? Yes, continue with the checks. And just for the sake of time, I'm just going to go over two lines. If King D3, I mean, all roads are pretty bad here. Going back here, if Queen, or I'm sorry, King takes F6, check, check, and check, and <laughs> this will be mate. So I'll start off with the force check, but I understand what Jay was doing. Try to solidify that, um, keep that pawn, and kind of peg white in the middle here and this is a heartbreaker because it goes from 0, 0.0 to mate in two wow that is tough of course bob very very low on time here what two seconds left and the reason why he did not want to go to door number two is because of this right but here's the thing um you're gonna get a queen either way if you take take you're gonna get a queen uh maybe here to but it's too late for the double up because this will queen anyway and I mean, it's it's uh, computer has the game pretty much dead even here. This could be one continuation, and the game is uh, zero point zero. So, wow! It just goes to show you, like, <laughs> in the depths of hell, there is a way out, but it's uh, hard to see. Definitely hard to see when you're the one playing. And going over here, I think this is where it all kind of starts to go south for for uh, for Bob here, because it kind of allows him to um, Jay to get the initiative. And so, going all the way back here will be another move for White here. Yes, strike back, queen takes, and this could be one condition. Dust to settle, black is a little bit better, I know I get 1.3. And last but not least, I'm going to show you the power of these two bishops, which kind of gives away the hint, but in the game we had rook f c8, let's go move back, will be another move for white here. Yes, a6, you're going to kick this rook, where is this rook going to go? Uh, no good squares here, right? Because, oof, look at this nasty stuff. And going over here, nope, because the bishop, no, because the knight. This looks safe. This is takes, um, taken by the bishop. So over here, but now the problem is that you're going to have b5. You're going to kick the queen, and boom, the skewer here. So going back here, the computer does recommend just uh, kind of liquidating your losses. This could be one continuation, and black is winning. And going over here, there was a skewer here. In the game, rook a b8 was played, but you had bishop a3. But sometimes the bishops are so damn good, you just even you don't want to give them up even for rook. So, um, so just FYI. But wow, fantastic game by Jay. Man, that was a beautiful jackhammer clutch win. And just Bob, wow, oof. king walk in the middle of the board. That is very, very, uh, very, very hard to play under time pressure. Uh, but it gave us that beautiful mate. And Bob, very, very gracious in defeat as well he he loves the game so much like he can appreciate good mate even if it's done on him so beautifully done there bob great win jay hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you thought of the game comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe at the bump kitchen thanks see you guys tomorrow